Hey everybody. One of the things I wanted to talk about uh, today is this beautiful rifle here. What we've got is this is a AR-15 build that is based on a 6.5 Grendel. I'll go ahead and safety check it real quick. And uh, go ahead and show empty chamber. And the chamber's open here. So I, I always keep a couple of snap caps in here for uh, just for some dry fire practice. But this is one of the things that I have really enjoyed uh, putting together over the last couple of years. Um, specific, I really wanted to have what I consider to be a do-it-all kind of dynamite um, DMR hunting uh, tactical uh, style rifle. And I have lots of guns. So, you know, this being one of my toy type of guns. I wanted to make sure that, you know, it was something that I could just kind of play with and throw different, you know, uh, combinations of things. So this one has a little bit of a story. Um, it started as a uh, discount uh, lower that I bought from a guy because he was selling complete lowers during the pandemic uh, for, you know, a, a reasonable price. Um, and it had all the, you know, the, the lower parts kit and all this. So the only thing it's still stocked to that lower, which is a, it's an all Anderson um, and, um, you know, kind of parts bin brand parts, you know, like CMMG or, um, uh, you know, the, the NBS or something like that. But uh, ultimately, um, this lower, the castle nut and the buffer system and buffer tube are all going to be Anderson. Um, what I've added to it is a Timney Pro Trigger. Um, and this is a Magpul Myad grip set with this uh, large uh, palm swell or, you know, kind of in the back here. And then I have uh, this front piece. Now, that was originally an olive because it was a gun that I had that was olive. Um, and then in the storage piece here, I've just got some REM oil. You can also put some CR123 batteries in here, uh, which is great. Back here, I've got just a basic clip for a sling. Uh, I use one of these slings right here, which is a, I don't know, it's like an Amazon type of piece. So, uh, but you fold this back and it'll, it'll just clip in there and just a one point sling. Um, since I do have a couple of QD mounts, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, a QD sling eventually um, for different sets of up, upper uh, parts. Um, so, but there's, like I said, there's that. Uh, back here, this is a Bravo company. Uh, uh, Kind of their their version of the sop mod stock uh it's very tight everything fits on it really well um so it's one of those things where i definitely ask uh people to consider getting one of those again everything else though other than the trigger in the fire control group is uh it's just kind of stock you know bottom end stuff i've got this little anti-walk pin set um because those modular drop-in triggers aren't great you know, because everyone knows that let's talk a little bit about this upper since we are kind of dealing with this, this upper receiver, the bolt carrier group, uh, the original, uh, well, and this handguard are all Bear Creek Arsenal. And I, before everybody says yuck and ew, um, I had the same experience as a lot of people did. I had a 24 inch super long barrel in mine. One of the issues that came up was that it just was not shooting straight. The headspace was wrong. The bolt headspace was off. Um, there may have been an issue in the crown as well, and so they eventually uh, sent me my upper back with the charging handle all bent up, and um, and I had a, a pretty bad customer service experience with them, and it took a long time. That being said, this upper uh, hand guard and, and the upper receiver are pretty good. Uh, I've had no issues. Uh, and then the Bolt uh, actual carrier group itself um, was not bad, so uh, that's what you have there. The Bolt is made by Maxim, who is a really good company that basically what they do is uh, they make a lot of the AR-47 conversion parts. And so they have a lot of things that are really based on working with the 762 by 39 And if you know anything about the 6.5 Grendel, you know that the base case is going to be 762 by 39 So uh, Maxim is a great place to go to if you're looking for a Bolt. Uh, and the extractors are designed, I think, to be a little bit better because most 7.62x39 is going to have a steel case. And the extractor is one of the weak points in a 6.5 Grendel bolt carrier group setup. So that has been changed over and it's not bolt uh, Bear Creek. Um, this barrel right here is made by Saturn Liberty, S-A-T-E-R-N. Um, this is one of their 5R 
barrels. This is a 20 inch, one and eight twist. Um, it is the most fabulous part of this whole gun. I got this barrel um, from Grendel Hunter. Check out GrendelHunter.com. The uh, owner is a really, really cool guy to work with. Uh, he has just been uh, dynamite and he answers all kinds of questions. He can check parts and headspace things before. If you send him your bolt carrier, he can make sure it's headspace with the barrel, which is what I did, um, just to make sure everything is, is put together right. And I think that that's 100% worth doing. This is a cheap Jerry Michelek um, <laughs> uh, three port muzzle brake and it is loud. But the nice thing is even with the, the carbine um, buffer, uh, and it's just a standard mil-spec buffer. Uh, this thing doesn't produce a lot of recoil. Hardly any at all. Just enough to give you a, a little, uh, you know, clap on the shoulder, but hardly uh, noticeable, uh, anything uh, noticeable. This is a super cheap uh, adjustable gas block, probably one of those $13 or $14 ones that you see from, you know, whatever brand. Um, I may eventually upgrade to it. The plan with this gun is to go um, with a, um, ultimately, a suppressed uh, uh, entire... Uh, running gear for the 6.5 Grendel and I'll be running probably a 9 inch or a 7 inch uh, version of the uh, Silencer Central Banish 30 which I have still waiting in Silencer Jail at the moment and I'm hoping it'll show up in the next probably before summer of 2022 um, but uh, yeah I have some more plans with that and if anybody's interested I can kind of get into what I'm going to do but the the idea is to have a bunch of other guns uh, that can share that since it's a 30 cal and um, have some QD uh, muzzle brakes uh, to work on all those guns. So the next thing that I have, like I said, uh, you know, in this, is this is a, um, a cheapo a rifle length gas tube that's up in here. Um, and so uh, the nice thing is um, using the regular old Hornady Black and Hornady SST Hunter and 6.5 Grendel, this barrel is a 0.35 MOA barrel. And that's with a 3x9 scope. That's before I put a target scope on there. So um, when I'm shooting my best, I can shoot sub half minute, which is uh, pretty outstanding. Um, and and I'm, I'm really not trying to, to pull your leg on that. I, I don't have the targets here. But what I can do is uh, uh, maybe if I can find a way to add them in the software, I can show you some of the, the actual uh, photos that I've hit on target. And maybe I'll add them in videos later. But one of the things... Uh, that is so impressive that I can't get rid of this it, rifle is that how accurately it shoots. So Saturn Liberty barrels are worth it. If you can get one for under a few hundred bucks, it's going to be worth it um, to put in these. Um, this, there's a lot of companies that really do Grendel well. Odin Works is one of them. Alexander Arms, uh, LaRue. Um, I would put you know Saturn and Grendel Hunter up there with those. Um, uh, so uh, Grendel Hunter, though, they, they have a lot of rifles that are based on the Aero Precision Saturn Liberty uh, set up maybe some Roth, uh, is it Rothko or Rosco Rosco barrels? So, uh, check out Grendel Hunter if you ever uh, need to really dig into some stuff. Uh, it, they, they are just a great resource. I've got my Type 1 uh, M lock inserts here, these are just a godsend. Buy them. Uh, I actually have a couple of uh, a couple of these packages because I actually don't know if I see them hardly anymore. Uh, it was $15 for. Um, for these, but it, it, it is worth it when you whenever you put an upper together you get a couple of long strips here um, And then you can kind of cut them to whatever size you need um, I know that's a little on the expensive side, but these are nice uh, rubbery and, and, and the deal is whenever you have these less expensive hand guards you a lot of times end up with um, Kind of rough cuts this Bear Creek is not so bad um, I would cons consider Bear Creek on the higher um, end quality of the super value brands. Um, there, there are other, you know, things like if you go on Delta Team Tactical, you'll kind of see a lot of parts bin parts and, you know, $50, $60, um, you know, handguards and things that are just supreme value brand. And they'll work and they're made out of good, you know, uh, uh, aluminum and stuff, but these edges will be real sharp on them. The finishes won't be super good. So... That's part of the trade-off. Whenever you have those, though, you just slap these in there and you don't have to worry. Uh, uh, you know, if, if you buy something that's nicer, you know, like a Geisley or a Midwest Industries, um, just the, the the grip and the feel on your hand will be a lot better. It just won't be uh, nearly as, as uh, sharp in these little edges here. And uh, and that's why you pay more money for those. You know, more work goes into making them ergonomic. So uh, this is a factory switch here. I'd like to change it because there's a good amount of flop to it. Like you can see here, 
kind of before anything changes and you really need to go ahead and flip it. There's a lot of these that just have this really nice click, snap, click, snap. And, uh, and I'd prefer to have something like that. This is working though at this time, so I'm not super mad about it. Uh, I've got my Strike Industries uh, charging handle there. I've had a bunch of mil spec ones uh, a while ago, but uh, um, those are all just laying in my parts uh, bin. I just wanted to have something that wasn't uh, just a, a mil spec $10 one. Uh, now, up until recently, I had been using this right here. Now, I love bargain parts. This is a Optics Planet Special Burris 3x9 full field uh, scope here. And the, the cool thing about this, and let's see if I can get one of my scales. I hope that I'm not going too overweight on the scales, but this thing weighs nothing. Let's just take it in uh, grams. Oh, it's got too much. Okay. Well, my scale my scale is, uh, it's, it's over on it, but I would have to say that this entire setup right here weighs, I don't know, 12 ounces um, versus these bigger scopes, which can weigh a pound and a half maybe. Um, but this Burris Full Field E1, I got this scope for about $99 on a special sale. And um, it's a great hunting scope. It's just a duplex. Um, uh, the turrets aren't great. You know, they're not really... I mean, there's really nothing special about it, but I consider it to be an extreme value because uh, I've never lost my zero. This is also a $29 Amazon mount, but it's built remarkably well. Um, I have just been so happy with this. Um, they actually have uh, alignment stoppers here. So uh, when you set a zero and then when you stick the sucker back on and you, you know, you go back to regular, um, you know, uh, let's just say you go to the tension that you've written down that you're going to use, uh, say, 30 inch pounds. It'll take you right back to zero. So for being a $30, um, you know, part, I've just been so happy. And it's not Sonic King anymore. There's another version of this, but it's just got these three lugs here. Um, so, but this sucker right here is just super, super light. Like I said, maybe less than three quarters of a pound. And, and I've just been thrilled with it. Um, and I recently, though, just changed to um, this Arkin. SH4 Gen 2, 6 by 24 by 50, uh, big mega 34 millimeter tube on this thing. And it does have a lot of light transmission. It's been solid. Uh, I will probably go ahead and do a review on this scope at some point just to make sure that uh, I have the opportunity to talk about it. But I absolutely am enjoying uh, just looking through this scope. I'm going to get it to the range and see if I can um, keep reproducing those, those uh, you know, uh, one third inch groups, which is fabulous. This is on a Geisley Pro mount. Um, now this is one of the more expensive parts on this gun. I would say that uh, of, of the, the parts on this gun that are actually uh, nice is going to be this Timney trigger and uh, and this Geisley mount. Everything else is budget parts, which uh, is, is great. You know, the Saturn Liberty is their budget line, Bear Creek, Anderson. There's a Bravo company. Bravo company makes good stuff. So, but there's a few things here and there that are that are on the on the higher spectrum of, of cost but the way that this is built is just nice they've actually serialized each ring one with another and so if you zoom in here you can actually see that on this uh, set of scope rings there is a set of serial numbers on here which i think is just so impressive um that uh that that allows you the ability to always make sure that the rings are, are attached the same way, um, which is just really cool. Uh, down here, we're going to go more Amazon parts. Um, the sling swivel adapter for M-Lock is right here. Uh, that was a $12 part. Um, this right here, I believe, uh, might have been an $8 Amazon M-Lock mount. And then this, if you ever watch 704 Tactical, he's he's similar to me where... I just, I love a deal. And he reminded me uh, to check up on these. This is Twod, Twod, I don't want to say it, um, uh, the wrong word, T-W-O-D, um, Swiveling Bipod. Now I have Caldwell's. Um, these are all just copies of the Harris Bipod, of course, but you can get one of these that has this adjustable swivel um, and these little plastic things that cover the spring to keep from yanking your arm hair out. They are not what I consider to be 
you know, remotely close to the Harris bipod quality, but they're super lightweight. And for a rifle that you're going to carry for hunting or to the range or whatever, I think that they're dynamite. And it was 25 bucks, you guys, 25 bucks. So uh, a $25, uh, um, uh, one of these mounts, uh, bipod, I mean, 